Hello all, today I want to show you our BVS vision sensor. Why do you need a vision sensor in your production? The vision sensor is a very important part in checking if your production is correct and the quality is at the right level. How do we do that and why is it important to have this vision sensor? This vision sensor is made to be easy. It's not made to be complicated, it's made to be easy and to deliver very good and fast results. How does it work? Let's have a quick look in our software here. At first, what do you see? You see a blurred dark image. That is not what we need to create a proper uh, program for the BVS vision sensor. You could do it all by yourself, uh, adjusting brightness, adjusting focus, but we have the auto setup mode here. If we push it, the vision sensor will calculate what light is needed, what is the distance and make every adjustment automatically. So if this function is already done, you see the picture looks a little bit different. It's brighter. Today I have my race car here with me and we want to check if all parts of this front wing are there. You know, if the front wing of a race car is not complete, it will not go fast. And we want to go fast. That is why we need to check that everything is there. To check this, at first we need to have a locator. So it is a race car. A race car is built to move. And that is what the locator should do as well. So we add a reference image here. And in this reference image, we can paint with our mouse here and just say, come on, this is our reference edge. This will be our locator. So if the car is moving, the locator will move along these lines here. So let's have a quick look how it works. Before we try, we need to train that, that we have all the edges for the locator. And if the training is done, you see which edges have been found and what are the reference edges here. I just make the uh, frame a little bit bigger that we can get more movement here. And now let's check it. Let's go into the loop mode and move the car a little bit. And you see the locator detects the position of the car and always refers the center point with the location of the car. That is exactly what we need. You can adjust the rotation uh, range here if we want to have a specific angle or not uh, and a minimal score, that are the adjustments we can do here as well. So let's say this is our locator, we have it done and now we go to the analysis area. In the analysis area, we have several tools here. We have tools like presence check or object verification, object finder, even a code reader is implemented. We also have classical vision tools like brightness, blob or also edge count and uh, edge position. Let's start with the presence check because we want to check the black part on the front wing here. How does it work? We also add a reference image. This reference image should show the BVS what is the shape of a good part. Yeah? I'd move the car a little bit and we add another uh, reference image. I move it once more. So we have three reference image of a good looking part. The front wing is correct. Mm -hmm. What do we need? Now we have the good parts, but we also need to see how do the bad parts look like. So let's dismount one of these parts here. Take a new picture. You see there is a big difference here. And we add this as a reference picture as well. Move it backwards a little bit, take a new picture and say, come on, that is also our reference image here. In the next step, I need to show the software where I'm looking for. What is the defect? And I will do that with a mask. So I draw it again, straight over my part. This is what I'm looking for. But we need to tell as well, what is the good part and what is the bad part. So I go to the reference images here and say, yeah, yes, that is the good part. That is the way it should look like. Same here, same here, but not same here. This should be a bad part. 
And the same for picture number five. This also should be a bad part. So I defined the IO and the not okay parts here. And when I start the training, the software will calculate what is the difference between the pictures. And as you can see here, the detection is correct. The part is not there. Let's switch it to loop mode and we move it around. You see the locator is working here as well. And now I mount the part on the car. Okay. And you see there is a part back again. So it's extremely easy to just say this one is right and this one is bad to make the detection of this part here with that tool. You can also say how many objects do I want to check. You can have several objects in that tool as well. You can have the uh, minimal score, you can adjust it as you want and it's extremely easy to do. Okay, that was the presence check. Uh, I shortly want to show you how the other tools work and one of my favorite is the brightness tool. The brightness tool is a very classic tool but it's also very powerful. Maybe that's why it's a classic tool. Uh, we have a histogram here, so you see how many pixels of what um, grayscale value you have in your image here. And as you can see in the histogram here, all pixels that are inside that range are colored blue. All others are colored green. So you can very easily see this is the correct value and these are the grayscales gray where I want to see my results here. You can check if the current um, if the current grayscale is the correct one or you can also count the amount of pixels. So a very powerful tool here. Another one is the edge count. I really like the edge count because with edge count you can do a lot of things. You can do presence checks, you can just check if the part is in the right dimension, it's in the right position also. And we have a very powerful and easy to understand um, visualization here. So if I just put that region of interest here and just have a look, there are my edges that I can detect with my tool here. I can easily say, oh no, I'm not interested in, uh, in light to dark edges, just in dark to light or other way around or both directions are interested. You can also uh, say, how many numbers of edges are accepted or how many edges are accepted there. So for example here we have five edges. If that is what we want, yeah, then it's correct. Then we set the maximum here to five. So we know directly, okay, we expect five, we look for five, if five is five then we are good. If one edge is missing that means that things of the part are missing. So we have a not okay. So with this edge count tool, you can do a lot of things very, very easily. That is one of the main benefits of this tool here. Okay, um, the results you get from the tools, you can choose what you want. Do you want the X coordinate? Do you want the center of gravity? Do you want the size? Do you want the numbers? You can just uh, pick what you want and send it to the interface to the PLC. What kind of interface? That is also one of the benefits of this sensor. We have a lot of interface. Actually this one is an IO-Link sensor and um, we have a Profinet interface, we have an Ethernet IP interface, we also have an MQTT interface for IIoT communications here. So nearly all possible interfaces are on board here. Okay, should we have a look if it works? Yes, we do. We go to the monitor mode and yes, we save the program first. And in the monitor mode, you see, yes, okay, everything is running. So all um, tasks are completed successfully. As you can see, everything is working and we see it's moving, but something is missing. We don't see what is happening exactly. And that is why we have the possibility in uh, enabling the overlays of each tool here. So if you want to see how the locator is working or how the presence check is working, what are the results of the brightness and also for the edge count, 
Just feel free to add what you need. And if you now move the car, you just see everything is following the locator and all checks are correctly done here. So what do we want to achieve with that vision sensor here? We want to have an easy and powerful vision sensor. You don't need to be an expert. Just follow uh, our steps here in the, in the software and you will create your solution very, very easily and very quick. If you need more information, just check the video description. You will find more details about the product here. Contact us if you need any ideas for your automation solution and uh, check out our vision sensor.